Welcome to another video tutorial for SP Page Builder 3. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use the countdown add on. So you drag it over and it gives you a nice clean countdown. This is really great because if you have a product or something that you want to count down to, let's say for the New Year's or you have a product launch or a special event or a webinar, this is a really great way for you to do that, to utilize that. So as you notice right now, it's already counting down here and you can customize this a little more. So if you want to change the height, you can change the height. Now this is based on the layout of your website. There are times when you want to be able to, you know, add and take more. If you can change the width, you want it to expand, expand like that. You can change the font size of it a little bigger. So if you make the font size bigger, then you can move things around and then you can open it. So if you're trying to cover a lot of ground and you want something that pops up very, very big like this, uh, you can do that. And you can change the date format here so you can change what date uh, that this shows up on. So you have the, the year, so let's say 17, and then we want to change this uh, to 12, and we want to change this to 31st. So right now we'll just change that date to December 20, December uh, 31st of 2017, and it changes nice and neat. So what happens is once the countdown reaches that time, for example, it's going to just uh, say whatever message that you've put here. So for example, let's say you make that countdown, it's going to say finally we're here. So whatever message that you want to be after the countdown is over, that's what you put here. And then you can come down, you can customize the radius. You want it to look like that. You can change the label size to make it a little bit bigger or smaller. And then you can change the label colors as well. So you want to put something a little bit different uh, based on a certain design. So if your design is something and you want to match uh, a certain look, uh, then this is really great for you to do that here. So go ahead and try that and see what you come up with. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know and I'll do the best that I can to help you. Thanks again for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so anytime that I release another video like this one, you're going to be the first person to get access to it.